Welcome. Every year on April 7th, we celebrate Everglades Day. Despite our progress, this unique ecosystem, unlike any other in the world, is only half its original size. Pollution, excess water, and drought are more dangerous than ever. Today, we are starting a new tradition. As CEO of the Everglades Foundation, I will deliver to you as a stakeholder and supporter the State of the Everglades annually on April 7th. So in this first message, I want to thank you for your support and to let you know that it has made a difference. We have big news. In the past, the state of Florida has inconsistently funded Everglades restoration. But following a concept first promoted by Governor Scott and supported by you, we were able to get the Florida legislature to pass the Legacy Florida Act, establishing a dedicated source of funding for Everglades restoration. We now have the money. The importance of this cannot be understated. This legislation sets the floor for funding so that we will know year in and year out the dollars that are available for Everglades restoration. We could not have achieved this historic commitment without your support, but this is just the first step. We need to ensure that these dollars are used in the most efficient and effective way. So let's take a moment to pat ourselves on the back for this win. Let's thank those who got us to this point, the governor, the speaker of the house, and senators and representatives from around Florida. I ask that you tune back in on April 22nd, Earth Day, so that I can tell you how to continue to help us further the efforts to restore the Everglades. As Floridians, we're all in this together, and together we can make a difference. I also invite you to click the share button and tell everyone you know about the importance of this national treasure, not just here in Florida, but around the nation. This is America's Everglades. Thank you very much.